In a letter to President Biden, four former surgeons general are calling for a national vaccine day to, quote, celebrate the achievement of COVID-19 vaccination, promote vaccine education, and honor the health care workers who have protected us through the pandemic. And here to discuss this is one of the former surgeons general leading this charge, Dr. Richard Carmona. Dr. Carmona, thank you so much for being with us. And so you've written this letter to the White House. Have you heard directly back from President Biden? No, I haven't. We have spoken to some of the staff who are very thankful that we thought to come together to provide support for this type of uh, initiative to enhance vaccination nationally. And Dr. Carmona, you tell us, what are we talking about here? You're, you're talking about not just let, let's pick a day and focus. We're talking about a federal uh, one-time holiday, essentially. That's not something that's, uh, uh, that we do uh, very often in this country. So what is the point? What will this achieve to make it a national federal day? Well, again, this is a this is a big, big moment in our history. It's the first pandemic in 102 years. You've uh, gone through the numbers a little earlier on your show. It's been devastating, not only to the health of the nation in the world, but to the economy. And so we felt it was important to pause for a moment, uh, name a day specifically so that we can honor our first responders, our health professionals who have so selflessly served to care for us, as well as to improve the education and the knowledge and accelerate vaccination so that we can achieve herd immunity even sooner. Now, Dr. Carmona, other than coming on this program, tell us what you're doing to try and get the word out, to get the American people behind this, to trust this initiative, because we know trust has been such an important part and perhaps what's missing for a lot of folks in getting a vaccination in the first place. Well, I've been working with One Day Sooner, a national organization whose value proposition goal is to do just that. And I thought that, you know, something that we can do to lift this, elevate it, would be to get several Surgeon Generals involved. So I uh, spoke with three of my predecessors and we decided to come together around this because it was a matter of not only national but global importance to be able to extinguish this virus through vaccination and accelerated herd immunity while thanking all of those who have served us. So it's unprecedented that we have four Surgeon Generals supporting one day sooner to be able to achieve this goal. Dr. Carmona, what do you think when you see the pictures um, of, frankly, spring break partiers? That's one thing, but also you have states loosening, not just loosening the restrictions, they're getting rid of restrictions and absolutely reopening uh, completely as if the pandemic is over. Do you fear um, what is in people's heads right now and give the impression that maybe the pandemic is over and we can go back to life as normal? Well, we are all very concerned. My, my colleagues at CDC, at NIH, or my, the former Surgeon Generals, myself, uh, because this has become a, a political issue. I mean, since when does a mask become a political identifying uh, material? Um, we need desperately need uh, single leadership, good messaging, inspiring messaging, that people understand we are in the eye of the storm right now. This pandemic is continuing and it's up to us to be able to decrease transmissibility by incorporating the best public health practices and everything we do every day, wearing a mask, socially distant, and don't go out if you don't have to. Don't take trips if you don't have to. That's the best way to decrease this problem. Individual states and communities taking initiatives that are in defiance of good science is not good for the nation or the world for that matter. Dr. Carmona, how do you convince the leaders of those states who have decided to ease, if not get rid of all of these precautions we've been taking over this past year? What do you say to them to convince them otherwise? Well, it's really tough, you know, because often uh, the uh, truth is inconvenient for uh, politicians. And yet that's what we desperately need today the absolute truth of what's going on. There is ample scientific information to show that if you don't adhere to these practices, that we will increase transmissibility, will increase the death toll, will increase the cost of health care. And so for ev all of those reasons is why we need to make this change and is why the Surgeon Generals have come together to work with One Day Sooner in hopes of inspiring people to take on these challenges. It's tough, make no mistake, it is tough but it's necessary so that we can come out of this as soon as possible by accelerating vaccination and herd immunity. All right, well, Dr. Richard Carmona, 17th Surgeon General of the United States, uh, and our Dr. Ashton sends her love, of course, <laughs> to you, and we'll see you back here on uh, National Vaccine Day, right? Thanks, I'm looking forward to it, and back to uh, Dr. Ashton as well. <laughs> All right. <laughs> 
Hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.